look, Scoop. There's a big storm coming. Wow. Lightning is brilliant, isn't it, Lofty? Um... But these autumn storms can be strong, wet, and windy, Scoop. So it's probably best to stay inside where it's cozy. That's right. In you go, Scoop. Oh. A mess. It's the Coast Guard. Hello? What would the Coast Guard want from Bob? The Fixum Lighthouse was struck by lightning during the storm. The lamp is broken and needs repairing. Oh no! If the lighthouse can't shine its light, then it won't be able to warn ships away from the rocks. So the Coast Guard's asking, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! We're on our way. Hello, Curtis. Got a problem? The mooring ropes came loose in the storm. She's badly damaged, and the engine's ruined. Oh, sorry to hear that, Curtis. Ah, uh, she'll be fine once we've patched her up and got a brand new engine. Alfred, we need to go and get some spares. I'll see you later. House looks fine to me. It is fine, Scoop. On the outside, see that metal pole on top? That's a lightning conductor. It allows the lightning to pass through the lighthouse without causing too much damage to the building. But it didn't stop the lightning from breaking the electric lamp. There's another storm coming, so we have to get the light working again before dark. The lamp, lantern, casing and fuses need replacing. And the wiring has burnt out too. What does that mean? We'll also have to lay a new power cable all the way from Fixum, which means digging up the old one. That's a job for you, Scoop. Cool! I get to play in the sand! Um, I, I mean, I mean, dig up the sand. The power cable should be buried somewhere around here. Yes. There it is. Dig carefully along this line scoop and then follow the cable. OK, Wendy. Wait for my thumbs up before you start. This is the best job ever! Good job, Scoop. Now let's check the pipe to make sure it's not damaged. Thanks, Lofty. Now we just connect the old cable to the new cable. The cables are connected, Wendy. So let's pull the old one out and the new one through. Thanks, Leo. You go with Scoop. OK. Off we go, Scoop. OK, that's the new cable connected to the lighthouse. Great. So now you can start filling in the trench, Scoop. Oh, yes! I'll go and connect the other end. Thunder! That means I get to see more lightning! Fantastic! And the tide's starting to come in, too. Oh, that's not so good. There, 
now the lighthouse has power again. I wish Two-Ton would hurry up with that lamp, Wendy. The storm's coming. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, Wendy. The storm blew a tree down right across the main road. I had to wait while they cleared it. Never mind, Two-Ton. At least you're here now. Leo says the tide's coming in really fast. Okay, Lofty. Up, up a bit more. Steady. Uh, Bob, there's water around my wheels. Don't worry, Lofty. You and Leo get back to shore. But what about you and Wendy? We'll stay here overnight if we have to. Just as long as we get the lighthouse working again. Okay, Bob. Let's go, Lofty. Hurry, Scoop, or you'll be cut off. I'm almost finished. All done. Yeah! Bob and Wendy fixed it. Oh, too cool. If I finish this quickly, I can watch the lightning. Hey, careful, Scoop. Uh -oh. You frazzled the wiring. Oh, oh, no, that's a disaster. Why wasn't I more careful? Now what do we do? Wendy's the only person who can fix this, and she's stuck in the lighthouse. Everything's fine here. There must be a problem on shore. The tide's in now. We're cut off. But I have to get back, Bob. It's the only way to get the lighthouse working before the storm arrives. I've got an idea. Leo? Bob, uh, there's a tiny problem with the junction box at this end. We thought so. Wendy can fix it, but someone will have to get us by boat. But who's going to sail across in this weather? What about your dad? He's got a motorboat. Good thinking, Scoop. Dad! Dad! Leo? Can you rescue Bob and Wendy? They're stranded in the lighthouse. I haven't fixed the boat yet, Leo. We've only just got back. It took ages to find the right parts. And now the electricity's gone down, so I can't see properly. My lights are bright. And so are Lofties and Alfreds. We can shine them for you. That's brilliant! Let's do it, Dad. See you yet. There they are. I can't get too close to the rocks. You'll have to jump aboard. Okay. okay. Now. thought changing a light bulb could be so dramatic. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Oh, it's too dark to see. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault, Wendy. But let me help. Thanks, Scoop. Now, let's head home. Oh, can't we 
we stay and watch the lightning for a bit, Bob? Um, from inside my nice, safe, cozy garage. Yeah, to stay inside. That is perfect, Scoop. Oh, Chef Tatty's done it again. His play cafe is going to be a huge success. I certainly hope so, Wendy. Thanks to all your hard work. I thought you were coming later, Chef. Oh, I'm too excited. I can't wait to see it all finished. It will be all finished in time for my party, won't it, Bob? Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! It all looks splendid. Glad you're pleased, Chef. Have you decided what color you'd like for the walls of the disco room? No, but I've narrowed it down to red, blue, green, or yellow, if that helps. Not really. Why don't we paint some test colors on the walls to help you choose? Fabulous. I'll pick one when I come back to do the party food. Speaking of which, I'd better go and buy all my ingredients. Will there be music at the party tomorrow? Aye, I'll put on a CD for everyone to dance to. You can't be serious, Chef. You need a proper DJ. What's a DJ, Wendy? Someone who's in charge of the music. They decide which songs to play, then play them in a special order. And the really good DJs create mashups, Muck. What, like mashed potatoes? No. A mashup is when you mix two songs together, like this. Sing a bit of your favorite song, Chef. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I make the best spaghetti. The recipe I'll never forget. What do you think? Wow. Chef, you can really sing. Now, here's a recording I made of Wendy and my dad rehearsing their band last night. And they can really play. Thanks, Chef. And my phone's got an app that can mix together Chef's singing and Wendy's playing to make this mashup. Oh, I make the best spaghetti. Oh, that's amazing. Could you make some mashups just like that for the party, Leo? Oh, wow. Yes, I'd love to. You're on. Fantastic. Wow. See you later, DJ Leo. Well done, Leo. Yes, that's awesome, Leo. But we need to get back to work. Wendy, can you help me finish up in the kitchen, please? No problem. What can I do, Bob? You help Leo, please, Muck. Sure thing, Bob. Are you OK, Leo? Well, the party's tomorrow. And I don't have much time to make all those mashups for Chef Taddy. Leo, we're almost finished. Why don't you leave that till later? But I've just had a brilliant idea, Muck. Listen. Uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, maybe not. Ah, what if I tried? Have you finished that arch yet, Leo? Sorry, Bob. I was a bit distracted. Okay, well, just get that arch secured, and then can you paint Chef's color samples, please? Right away, Bob. And, Muck, when you've finished in here, can you clean up any garbage, please? Okay, Bob, no problem. <laughs> One, two, three, four colors for Chef to choose from. That's it. I won't just mash up two tunes. I'll use four. Um, now, where did I leave my phone? <sighs> ah, there. 
There it is. Okay. Ah! Bob, Wendy, I think I've messed up. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Leo. Chef's not gonna be very happy. How on earth did you do that? I had this great idea for a mashup. I must have stepped in paint without realizing. I know you're excited about doing the music for the party, Leo, but there's still work to do. Sorry, Bob. You should have just been concentrating on the build. I promise it'll never happen again. Okay, but we'll have to paint over those footprints before Chef gets back. I'll get the floor paint. No, Stop! Leo! Oh. <gasps> what is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what do you think of my brilliant new floor design, Chef? I thought it looked like dancing footprints. But if you don't like it, I can easily paint over it again. No! Don't you dare! I love it! You're a genius, Leo. And you've helped me decide what color the disco room should be painted. What color is that, Chef? All the colors! One blue wall, one red, one green, and one yellow. We can do whatever combination of colors you like. And I want more footprints everywhere. a good day's work, everyone. Even you in the end, Leo. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'll make sure I just do one thing at a time from now on. That sounds like a very sensible idea, son. You ready for our rehearsal, Wendy? Certainly am. But what we really need is a singer, Curtis. Well, I can't sing, but I can make some snacks while you rehearse. Great. Good luck with your mashups, Leo. Thanks. I bet you're excited about tomorrow, Leo. Uh, yeah. You don't sound very excited. I thought I had lots of ideas, Muck. But now I've got time to concentrate, I realize I don't have any at all. Ooh, Leo, I love that song. Me too. But I don't think I'll be able to make anything else that good. Wendy and your dad are amazing. Yes. They are. They really, really, really are. Oh, thank you, Muck. You've given me a brilliant idea. High five. Ow! Oops. Thank you so much for all your hard work and brilliant ideas. You're very welcome, Chef. The party's bound to be a huge success. If your mashups are as good as your floor designs, Leo. Thing is, Chef, Yesterday made me realize it's much better just to do one thing at a time. But once we'd finished here, I didn't have enough time to plan for your party. So, I've had an even better idea. Will you be our lead singer, Chef? Leo's mashup of you singing over our playing made us realize you'd be perfect for it. What do you think, Chef? Are you ready for your first gig? Hey, I've always wanted to be a rock star. You really are a wee genius, Leo. I love this wee guy. Chef Tatty. As soon as daylight comes, then I'm in my kitchen having so much fun with sardine sorbet and chocolate peas. I'm the one making a fishy ice cream or a sausage and marshmallow dream. Oh, I'm proud of you, Leo. It's really brave to admit you can't do something and then ask for help instead of letting someone down. Thanks, Bob. I think I'll stick to building and not DJing in the future. Practice makes perfect. Just look at your dad and Wendy. I bet you could be awesome if you practiced in your spare time. 
Maybe, but we need to stop chatting and get on with our work. What work? It's all finished, and I'm gonna enjoy the party. Didn't I tell you? Since Chef's playing with the band, I promised we'd serve the food and do all the washing up. So, do you want to wash or dry? Oh. <sighs>